Yo, what's up guys, this is a bit pressing here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing our Geometry Dash series. And today we're going to be doing the Shadow Gauntlet. Because last video we did the Bonus Gauntlet, which is a very easy gauntlet. But today we're doing the Shadow Gauntlet. So the first level is by Serpunch, the legend himself. And it is a Spooky Light. Now this level is pretty fun to play. I'm going to admit. It's very creative as well actually. Because it's basically a mini game. It's like you're playing a Nintendo game, in my opinion. Like this, honestly, feels Nintendo. I wouldn't rec—I I wouldn't recommend playing this on like an unstable device as well. So like an iPod Touch fifth generation. Like they could—they are really unstable. They can't handle detail in games. So let's say you're playing Geometry Dash, you, you have to play like l every level in low detail mode. So at this part, you gotta grab those. Like you've got into the circles to get the light. Otherwise, you can't see anything, and you're gonna die. Like these are basic. Like the blocks around you are basically from Mario World as well. Like there's a lot of Mario references. So at this part, you just gotta hover your light over the ghost, and there's a and there's pretty much a free coin at this point. So you get the two, and you just stay low. Like this part is confusing at first, but it is honestly just like very easy. I don't know how you get the coin. But just follow the path, and you should be good. See, it's a very easy level. I don't, I don't see how people can have troubles with it. But it's a good level, made by Sir Punch once again. And that next level is Ominous, made by Hyenda, whoever this guy is. I've, I don't like. I've never seen this guy or his levels before. So he's had a few. Oh, he's got a demon. He's had a few. Featured levels, as you can see, and then a few of them are just like attempted ones, but not quite. So let's go into it. Now this level has got a creepy song, but like the level is pretty detailed. I don't get what's with the random letters in the background as well. Of course, yeah, like that's like what I mean, and it's like these. This is one of these gauntlets where you can't just. Let the game do everything. You have to like get everything spot on. Like, like, see, why am I having troubles? This is an easy level. I did this in one attempt. Like, it's just timing in this level. The coin's easy to get as well. You just have to like just hold back for a second when you're getting it. The background detail is really cool as well. But if you play this level in like low detail, then you have no idea what's going to go on, honestly. Once again, be patient, don't rush. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of ep epilepsy in this level as well. It's only, it's only those tiny bits of flashy light though, not too much. This part, of, this part of the song in the level is really cool as well, though. Like, I mean, at first the song sounds creepy, but then it just turns epic. And then that's the end of the level, is. It's a very, very easy level. Very easy. But it's just about timing, really. So, next level is Ghost Town. Now, I personally don't really like this level. I like the song, I just find the level a little bit tedious, so if you die to go back through it, it's really tedious. That's a very easy key though, which I died to. Yeah, it's a quite easy key to get, all you have to do is just remember where it is, or or if you can sight read, then just get it like that. So at that part, you just like go straight up and get the coin. Like, I didn't manage to do that for some reason, but that's a very easy coin. This part is just a couple of basic jumps. Then you turn robot, don't over jump it. Yeah, so right, so this part is like the most tedious part. I think this is the hardest part. So don't forget it's all about the patience. Up down. Through the down down. Don't jump. Do a bit of straight flying. Drop. Jump. Just make sure you follow the stars. Don't under jump it like I just did.
yeah, that part is the word that that's the part that's gonna get you the most. Like, honestly, this level is all about memorization. But quite a lot of it, it's you can sight read it. Definitely, you can definitely sight read half this level. But a lot of it's about like memorization. It took me a few. That's why I had to go to practice mode for this level, as you can see, because it's just it's a level that I would play f through a few times because of the song, but I wouldn't play it all the time because of how tedious it is. That's quite funny that. At this part you just have to follow the um, arrows. Just go through all the smashable blocks and don't fuck up. That that's basically the end of the level. It's a relatively easy level. I'm gonna turn the sound of it because that's really loud. But yeah, that's a relatively easy level, nothing too hard about it. It's just that one part. Uh Fear Zone, this is quite a cool level as well. But it's just one of those levels where you know you have to memorize a few parts and not jump too early. Scream Room's a good song as well by Xtrilla. It goes really well with the music and introduces some 2.1. So when you jump over those, it gets rid of the blocks which you need to do, otherwise, you will die. Yeah, see, look there. It's something where you can't just jump all the time. It's a level where you need to think about the jumps you're going to make. Like, the ball part is pretty easy. You just got to know when to do it. You can't just go too early. That part you need a key for. I don't know where you get the keys, by the way. So, like, I wouldn't... I just go through the level in practice mode if you want to get the keys. Because I have no idea where they are. There's clearly a special switch for that one there. But I don't... Oh, actually, I think I know what to do. I'm just not going to attempt it. You probably have to skip the jump orb one. And as I very weirdly demonstrated before, don't overdo the flying. This part's cool. Nope. This part's fairly easy as well. Like, there's no need to panic, it's just a case of keeping a rhythm. The wave part can kill you though, like, really easily. That wave can, like, kill you really easily, but, you know, you just gotta be steady, like I said. Don't. Don't go overdo it. Don't don't get scared. Right, four or five stars. You got five stars, my boy. Shady's back. Tell her friend. So I can't really remember what this level is. Let me have a think. Oh. Yep. I remember now. It's obviously got the the Zelda Extrilla remix, which is probably one of the best songs in Geometry Dash. Like, this song is just... It's sick, basically. The level's cool as well. That's the ship. I don't know why I had to go to practice for this level. Probably this part. Or near the end. Yep, probably that. That was only 50... Wow, this level's quite long. GL, does that mean good luck? That probably means good luck. Like, the level's not too hard, though. He's probably saying good luck to all the noobs. Which, I'm not a noob. I'm a demon slayer. i actually going to do a video of four boss soon. But if I forget to record doing four... Like... Beating four boss, I'll, I'll just probably do the replay like I did with the previous demons.
This part's not too hard. It's just a couple of UFO taps. There we go. Just don't go through that portal too low. Oh yeah. It's um depending on the um speed of the ship, like the harder it is to go up. So that part is quite hard to go up with a ship and then I saw a wave portal. What the hell? So don't panic, just stay calm. Which is the opposite of what I'm doing right now. Do 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 do. Yeah, um, it's just a simple matter of one, two, three, boom, you're done. Like it's not hard. The level is just tedious. Yeah, see, you just you can't press the button too early. So the shadow gauntlet is the basically the timing gauntlet. If anything, this level should have been in the gauntlet time. Well, well, the time gauntlet, I should say. Like, obviously there's going to be more gauntlets coming soon, and apparently there's going to be a time gauntlet. I've got a feeling like half the songs are going to be Time Machine. I don't know why. Or f <laughs> I pressed the button one too many times. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be honest, it's been ages since I played this level. I have no idea what happens. I'm just trying to sight read this. I don't want to go into practice. I don't mind playing the level over and over again because you guys get to see me fail. Which, assuming you like, I don't know. Because I failed miserably in that chaos, in the bonus one. Oh, I saw that coin. That's a really hard coin. I failed a few times in the um, bonus gauntlet, probably because of the crashing issues. I think I might do the chaos gauntlet next, but I'll play all the level serene practice mode because, like, I, I really don't want to do them in normal again without checkpoints. That I just hate the chaos gauntlet so much, especially the last level, it's, um, dark drop. It's such a shit level. Not only is the level shit, but it's it's way too hard. Same with Magmatic Sanctuary and the Fire Gauntlet. Way trying to get us with that snake. So obviously the Shadow Gauntlet isn't hard. It's just a bunch of like timing. It's a timing based gauntlet. Which is really the gauntlet that's going to trick you out. Yeah once again like I said I'll probably do the Chaos one next. But I'll play everything through in practice mode. I might do the first few levels like Anubis in Anubis and Drippy Dub in normal mode, but Dark Drop, Cataclysm, and depend. I'll practice Scarlet Sword because I can't remember what happens. But depending on what happens in them, I'll probably do it in practice mode because I really, really do not want to go through Cataclysm again. Obviously, it's basically it's kind of like the shitty Cataclysm. That's the easy version, but that's besides the point. It's still a hard level. And before we end off, I'm going to show you a quick little thing. See, look at that. Rob Top, fix your levels. Like, these levels are just... This level is, like, the glitchiest thing in this game. You can drop there. And at this part, you can just hold it and go through. Like, obviously, this level's not hard at all. This is really easy. I don't know why it's called the challenge. It's probably only a challenge to people who don't know 2.1. But as you can see there, you can just fly across all of that. It's not a shortcut. It's just a fun way to break the level. Ba -da -ba -dum, bum -bum. You don't need to do that once again. You can just drop. Makes the level easier. Ba -ba -ba. If you flip upside down, look. You can, you can progress as a spider. Or, if you do it right like that, you think you're going to die, but nope. Like, this level is pretty buggy. Same with, like, Deadlocked and the other demons in the game. But that's besides the point. Obviously, I've uploaded... Like, I've done these levels as well. So, if you haven't already and you play Geometry Dash, go on to be sure to check out my level, The Seven Seas. Uh, buff process, buff Processing and Buff Theory of Everything. I put quite a lot of time into these levels. But, aside from that... I guess that's the end of the video, so if you guys 
enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash it a like. And I will, of course, see you in the next video. But before I go, I'm going to treat you guys to a meme. Thomas the Dank Engine. Enjoy. And that's the end of Thomas the Tank Engine. I'm not doing any more of that. Yeah. So, that's the end of the, the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!